Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Virtual Sunday School. I hope I don't blow away on this windy day. If I do, send someone to find me. We've been talking a lot about Jesus using stories to teach a lesson about the kingdom of heaven. That's called a parable, when Jesus tells a story to teach a lesson. Today, we're going to talk about a miracle when Jesus does something remarkable and unexplainable. Jesus did these to show us, to show that he was sent from God. Today's miracle is about Jesus feeding 5,000 people with just a few loaves of bread and fish. That sounds pretty remarkable. Imagine, it's a beautiful sunny day by the Sea of Galilee. The water is sparkling. Hear the birds calling. The waves are gently lapping against the shore. We've been here all morning listening to Jesus preach. But many of us did not bring food. We didn't prepare to stay for so long. We're getting really hungry. What is Jesus going to do? Let's listen and find out how he performed this miracle. If you're old enough, use your own Bible or an online Bible and read the story from uh, the book of John, chapter six, verses one to 14. It was a beautiful sunny day as Jesus and his disciples crossed the Sea of Galilee in a boat with white sails. Jesus had been healing sick people and many more people of all ages came to see him again that day. Maybe they could hear more of Jesus' stories or see him show God's power through another miracle. When Jesus saw the large crowd of men, women, and children, he asked his friend, Philip, how are we going to get enough food to feed all of these people? Philip answered, I could work for six months and not earn enough money to buy food for all of these men, women, and children. The, the disciples didn't know what to do. Just then, Andrew pointed to a young child and said, here is a boy who has five small loaves of bread and two fish. It is something, but it certainly isn't enough food for all of these people. Jesus looked very nervous as he said in a small voice, I'm sorry, the boy looked very nervous as he said in a small voice, Jesus, please take my food if you think it will help. Jesus took the five loaves of bread and two fish that the boy offered and asked his friends to have the crowd sit down. About 5,000 people sat in the grassy meadow by the lake that day. After Jesus gave thanks to God, he blessed the five loaves of bread and two fish. Then he shared the food with all of the people who were there that day. All 5,000 people ate until they were full. Then Jesus said, now let's gather up all of the leftovers. And do you know what? There were enough leftover pieces of bread to fill 12 large baskets more loaves and fishes left over than the boy had given to Jesus. The disciples shook their heads in disbelief as they struggled to pick up the baskets heavy with food. The people saw the full baskets of leftovers and began to understand that something extraordinary had just happened, another miracle. Jesus smiled as he heard people say, God must have sent Jesus to us. It was a day the boy, the disciples, and all of us would never forget. Wow, was that a miracle or what? Certainly remarkable and extraordinary and unexplainable. Okay, I have some questions to check what you know. Who is it that provides the bread and fish that Jesus will bless? What does Jesus do before he multiplies the food? And why do you think Jesus chose to perform a, ver a miracle involving so much food? What's significant about the meal producing 12 baskets of leftovers.
Do you notice some differences in the food choices from Jesus's time? What if you were one of the disciples and had to choose from that type of a diet? Fish and loaves? We're not quite used to that. How would you feel? I bet the people of Jesus's time were overjoyed and thankful that they had a bounty, an endless bounty with leftovers. You have some things to think about and some extra activity pages on the church website. As always, let me know what extra things you do so I can enjoy them with you. Can you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for seeing our needs and filling our stomachs, filling our hearts, filling our souls. We hunger and thirst for you. And we turn to you for sustenance and survival. Thank you for multiplying the love in our hearts by 5,000 times and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next time.